Frankie and the Fossil, written and illustrated by Jess McGeechin and published by Penguin Books. Frankie and the Fossil. Frankie knew everything there was to know about dinosaurs. She could tell you the height of a Hadrosaurus, the length of a Leptoceratops, and how to spot a Stegosaurus. But not everyone wanted to hear about dinosaurs. Frankie had memorised all the labels at the museum off by heart. But one day she noticed a sign she'd never seen before. Don't feed the fossil. Frankie didn't need a label to tell her that fossils can't eat. But it still didn't seem fair. She dug into her pocket and pulled out a corner of her cheese sandwich. There you go, she whispered. Frankie had a strange feeling for the rest of the day. She couldn't quite put her finger on it, but she definitely felt it at the ocean display and in the gift shop, even on the way home. Frankie couldn't get to sleep that night. She tried naming dinosaurs. Ocasaurus, Brachiosaurus, Cedapelta, Diplodocus. A giant head on a long neck was peering through her bedroom window. It must be a dream, thought Frankie. But the dinosaur was still there in the morning, snoozing in the sunlight. He must have really liked the cheese sandwich. Frankie snuck downstairs to make the dinosaur some toast. You must be hungry, she said. 152 million years is a long time between breakfasts. The dinosaur ate every last crumb. And you must have stood still for a very long time, said Frankie. She found a branch and threw it as far as she could. The dinosaur brought it right back. But why was he here? Didn't he want to go back to where he belonged? Maybe Frankie didn't know as much about dinosaurs as she thought. But then she remembered the picture in the Diplodocus display. Do you miss your herd? she asked. The dinosaur nodded sadly. Frankie decided he could stay for a bit longer. Frankie had to admit it was quite handy having a dinosaur at home. He could reach the highest places, was excellent at hide and seek, and it was nice to talk to someone else who knew a lot about dinosaurs. The next day, there was a loud knock on the door. It was a paleontologist from the museum. He wanted the fossil back, but the fossil didn't want to go.
Frankie tried to explain that he was lonely there and asked if someone could please make him some cheese sandwiches. But it was no use. Mum came down with some lunch. Did you know that dinosaurs love cheese sandwiches? Asked Frankie. I didn't know that, said Mum. But no one knows more than about them than you do. And that's when Frankie had a fantastic idea. Frankie knew everything there was to know about dinosaurs. She knew that they liked cheese sandwiches and plain fetch. And here at the back of the book, we have Frankie's prehistoric ABC sandwich guide. And there are lots and lots of dinosaurs there. And I apologize if I mispronounced any of those dinosaurs early on in the story. In fact, I think I did. I think I actually did do one of them wrong. If we go back to one of the pages, um, let me see. I think it was quite close to the beginning. And oh, I think it was this page. And it said an Ocosaurus. And I'm not sure I actually said that, so I apologise. Ocosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Cedapelta, Diplodocus. And here we have lots and lots and lots more dinosaurs. I wonder whether you know as much about dinosaurs as Frankie did, because she certainly did know a lot about dinosaurs. Um, I hope you enjoyed that story. I love it. But I didn't know before reading this that dinosaurs love cheese sandwiches. Do you love cheese sandwiches? Maybe you'd like to go and make yourself a cheese sandwich. Enjoy!